Today is the 20th anniversary of the stopping of the bombing of Kaho'olawe. That was in 1990. And this is a film about those military live fire training there in the beginning of World War II and the efforts today to restore the devastated island. It's called Mai Kapiko Mai Ahoi, Return to Kanaloa. Today, this film will be shown at the University of Hawaii Center for Hawaiian Studies as a part of today's celebration and a year-long effort to increase awareness about Kaho'olawe's cleanup and future. And joining us this morning to talk about the anniversary is Dr. Deviana McGregor and Blake Brutus Labenz of Protect Kaho'olawe Ohana. Good morning and thank Good morning. you so much for joining us. Uh -huh. Deviana, why don't I start off with you? It's been 20 years. What are your reflections today on, on a very emotional event? Well, I think first, I think we feel glad that we have fulfilled the vision that George Helm and Kimo Mitchell gave their lives for and their families supported. And I think that we're so happy that the island now is at rest and at peace and is in a position to start to heal. And we're, you know, planting and calling for the rains to come so that the healing can happen. There is uh, so much military ordinance that was dropped there. And uh, Brutus, can you talk to us about some of the restoration efforts? What does the island look like today? Well, um, I've been going for about 10 years now. And just from when I started coming and the amount of debris that was left and uh, the amount of invasive species of trees in general there, it's, it's been significantly cleared um, up to date and uh, a lot more native plants are thriving. Do you think that it's possible that the island will ever be completely cleared of uh, military ordinance? Anything well. is possible. <laughs> what about the time frame? Uh, you know, what's, what it will look like in the future? Well, we're planning to have it be a center where cultural practices of our Hawaiian ancestors can be restored and revived and different halau who practice different um, parts of our culture, be it, be it hula or kapa making or, or hala weaving can come and have a place that c these practices can flourish. And Brutus, so you brought something special in this morning uh, to talk about kaho'olawe. Well, what is that? Yeah, so this we have a um, kanoa, but one of our ohana members, uh, Lani Opio, made this for us. Um, this is what is used tra traditionally for um, serving ava, making ava, um, that Pacific elixir. And um, for us today, this afternoon, we're going to start is uh, this concept, this idea of having uh, all our aloha in one kanoa. And uh, we're going to invite people, the public, to really recommit to this idea of aloha aina that was so dri driving the, the, the PKO movement back in the 70s and 80s. And, and um, Davey, I know you want to speak a little bit more about well, that. Well, and we also want people to recommit to honor Kaho'olawe as Kanaloa, which was its original name, mm -hmm. dedicated to the God of the Ocean, and also to commit to support the unification of Hawaiians towards self-determination. So all that aloha in that Kanoa. And uh, on October 22, 2011, which would be one year of celebrating this year of Kanaloa mm -hmm. Kaho'olawe, we're going to take this Kanoa with all that mana from everybody and uh, dedicate a mua on Kaho'olawe. All right, Diviana McGregor and Brutus Labenz, thank you so much for sharing this very important message. And again, the film will be shown at the University of Hawaii uh, UH Center for uh, Hawaiian Studies, and that'll be today, later this afternoon. We'll be right back. It is 620. Thanks.